Hi, this is Dom from iRise. In this video, I'm going to cover a concept that's important for you to understand as you begin to use the product. That's the drag mode settings of either drop into or drop over mode. Before I explain how each mode works, let's first quickly discuss why they exist. The reason is because iRise often uses what are called containers. Containers are widgets that can contain other widgets. So if I switch us into drop into mode and drop a container onto the page, and then I drop a text widget in the middle of it, now when I drag that container, the text widget will come along with it. But if I switch to drag over mode and do the exact same thing, much like the way PowerPoint behaves, the text widget now stays independent from the container. And you'll notice that iRise does give you a nice visual cue if something you're dragging is going to be dropped inside the container. It turns the container gray, and it reminds us that if you hold down the control button, you can override the current drag mode and drop the widget over the container. We've been using the container widget in these examples. Tables in iRise is the other widget that's affected by the drag mode. And you'll see here that changing modes also affects widgets that are already in a container. Shapes, however, like you see here, they do not act as containers. This gives you flexibility when building things like custom diagrams or for other uses where you don't want to have containers. And since I mentioned diagramming, I will point out that you can double click a shape widget and start typing, and then the text you type will be contained within that shape, which is really useful when creating diagrams. I was just recently building some iRice templates and I can use them to show you a few examples of containers. One simple use for containers is to use them as another way to simply group widgets. So you can see here I dropped a bunch of widgets into a container, and what this allows me to do is more easily play with alignment and to move sections around as I play with the design of this page. And grouping widgets this way, it allows you to use the outline panel to show and hide all the widgets in the container with one click. The other alternative to using containers for grouping is to right click and group the widgets together that way. Doing things this way, you don't have to worry about drag modes, and you can even combine containers and groups if you'd like. There are, of course, reasons to use containers that go beyond the benefits you get from grouping. Containers can be made to scroll, so you'll use them a lot for that reason, especially in mobile prototypes. And you can target containers, and by extension, all the widgets in them with actions. For doing things like show and hiding all, or even animating them all together. On this mobile page, I added a container and then I dropped a sliced up menu that I created into it. Then I added swipe actions to the top bar, which turns the container and thus the menu on and off. And this list I created well, each message is actually a two-piece container contained within a table. And I've added some somewhat advanced but pretty cool animations that simulate delete functionality. Properly understanding containers and drag modes prepares you for some other concepts in iRise that allow you to do some very cool things. Views is one of those concepts. So make sure you check out that tutorial if you haven't already. So as always, thanks for watching. And take care.